Let's take a look at problem number five four. It says if m is equal to 1.1 kilograms, what is the tension in string number one? So here's m, and it's equal to 1.1 kilograms. We've got um, string number one, which is here, and two. And then let's name this string that's connecting the mass, string number three. And we also see that we have a 40 degree angle for string number one below the horizontal here, and a 40 degree angle for string number two from the vertical here. So actually, if we were to measure this from the horizontal, we would have a 50 degree angle for string number two from the horizontal. Okay, as, as usual, we'll focus in on the mass M first. Do a free body diagram of that mass. It's 1.1 kilograms, and we know it's got weight, which would be equal to mg. So in this case, that would be 1.1 times 9.8, and that equals 10.8 newtons. We also have a force tension 3 going up, and those are the only two forces that are acting on this mass here. Everything else is, is away from that mass. So we would say immediately that the summation of all the forces in the y direction is equal to 0. It's equal to tension 3 minus the weight. So tension 3 equals the weight. So it's and that is equal to 10.8 newtons. All right, so we have tension 3. Next thing we want to do is do a free body diagram of this knot right here. Since the knot is not moving, we can assume that all the forces are canceling out. We do have a force of tension 2 going off like this at a 50 degree angle. We have tension 3 going straight down, equal to 10.8 newtons. And then we have tension 1 going off this way at a 40 degree angle. And as a result of these three forces on this knot, oops, I don't want to do that. Result of these three forces on this knot, the, um, the knot doesn't move. Now to make this a little bit easier, Let's break up tension 2 into two components, one in the x direction, which is T2 cosine 50. And then add tip to tail, we have a component in the y direction, which is T2 sine 50. Those two components, x and y, add tip to tail, comprise tension 2. We also have a T1 cosine 40 in the negative x direction and a T1 sine 40 in the negative y direction. Those two components add tip to tail comprise tension 1. So we can actually do a new free body diagram that comprises all these components x and y. Here's our knot. We have a T2 sine 50 degrees going up and we have a tension 3 going down which is equal to 10.8 newtons and we have a T1 sine 40 degrees also going down that's what comprises in the y direction and then in the x direction we've got a T2 cosine 50 balanced by a T1 cosine 40. And that's what we have going on in the x-direction. So that would be a component free body diagram. Alright, so if we look in the x-direction, we know the summation of all the forces in the x-direction should be zero. That is equal to T2 cosine 50 minus tension 1 
cosine 40. So tension 1 cosine 40 equals tension 2 cosine 50. Divide by the cosine of 40, we have that tension 1 is equal to the cosine of 50 divided by the cosine of 40 times tension 2. If I do the cosine of 50 and divide it by the cosine of 40, I get 0.839. So tension 1 is equal to 0.839 tension 2. Nice to know. I've always wanted to know that. But well, it's just one equation. So let's look at the y direction. We also have the summation of forces in the y direction should be zero. We've got a T1 or T2, I'm sorry, T2 sine 50 going up. And then we have a T1 sine 40 going down, and then all of tension three. So, let's bring this tension 3 over to the left-hand side, and we know it's 10.8 newtons, so we have 10.8 newtons is equal to, and then we know that T1 is equal to 0.839 tension 2, so we're going to have a tension 2 sine 50 minus T1, which is 0.839 tension 2, and all that sine 40. Factor out the tension 2 on the right hand side. So this is going to equal the sine of 50 minus 0.839 sine 40. All that times the tension 2. If I take the sine of 50 minus 0.839 times the sine of 40. I get 0.227. So this is equal to 0.227 tension 2. Or I could say that tension 2 is equal to 10.8 divided by 0.227. What is that? 47.5 newtons. So that is tension 2. We want tension 1. Tension 1 is equal to 0.839 times tension 2. So 0.839 times 47.6 is 39.97, so we'll say 40.0 newtons. So that is the force tension 1 in the cable number 1 that's headed in the down direction. Note that the fact that it's going down helps to contribute to tension 3 in the down y direction and we accounted for that by the fact that this sign over here was negative. So our answer is T1 equal to 40 newtons.